Good morning, everybody. I um, want to welcome you to Creating Cards with Debbie. Uh, be sure that you jump in here and you say hello. And if you're from another state other than Arkansas, let me know where you are. So, um, I know this isn't my normal day for Facebook Live. I wasn't able to do it the last couple Mondays. So, I'm just going to do a special today on a Wednesday. And I'll get back to my regular routine again next week. Um, hold on, let me mute my iPad and uh, bring you up on there so I can watch the comments. I don't need to hear myself. <laughs> okay. Okay, like I said, be sure that you comment when you come on and let me know that you're here. I'm going to give a moment or so, a few seconds here for everybody to get on board. Uh, it's good to be back again. I've missed everybody and I've missed doing this. So it's good to be back in my normal routine, kind of, except a different day. Um, okay, morning Sharon. How are you feeling? I'm glad you're able to watch today. We're going to be doing three cards that are from the celebration pamphlet. Uh, those are the free items that you can receive with a $50 order on each one. So, um, hope you enjoy. Okay, you're doing fair? Well, that's good. That's better than bad. <laughs> uh, I got stuff on my teeth. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, I'm just giving it a few minutes or a few seconds here for everybody to get on here. Um, I know it's not my normal day, so they're probably kind of confused. So, um, I've got my iPad up. Um, that looks good. Uh, let me go ahead and turn you down here and we'll get started a little bit with some of the housekeeping stuff. Uh, Hoping my phone doesn't fall. I don't have a case on it, so it's not really grabbing really well. So uh, we'll just pray that we don't fall. <laughs> all right, let me get this all straightened out here. Um, just trying to see where I need to twist and turn. I'll give it a moment here for my iPad to catch up. look really good. Um, let me zoom in a little bit. And lower this a little bit. And wait for my iPad here to so I can see what it looks like. Um, put that there so I have an idea. Boy, it's got a delay on my iPad. It's slow. Uh, good morning, Deborah. I've just seen you come on. Glad you could join. Uh, I think I need to zoom out just a little bit. Oops, go the other way. Hope I don't make you dizzy here. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself here. Uh, I could straighten it out a little bit here. Which way do I need to go? Don't need my arm in there. I'm just playing with the camera here. <laughs> we need to get it right so we can see. And I think that might work. Can everybody see that okay? Okay. 
I'm kind of cutting off the bottom there. Let's see, maybe I need to see if I'm just a tiny bit more there. Oops. Okay, I think that's a little better. Okay, like I said, my name is Debbie Foster. I'm an independent Sampin' Up! demonstrator in Bismarck, Arkansas, in the United States. And I'm glad that you're able to join me today. Uh, be sure that you like and share the video. That kind of adds to my viewers, which I would appreciate very much. Uh, okay, creating cards with Debbie. And you can shop in my store at www.debbiefoster.stampin'up.com. Dot net and the host code for August is J C H D A E Y Y. So if you have any questions or any problems going online on my store and shopping, be sure that you let me know. And use that host code if your order is under $150. Okay. And my blog is www creating with Debbie 179 at blogspot.com and you can go on that website and you'll get all the instructions for all the cards that I do and it's a new month so we've got paper pumpkin which is uh, the titling it as haunts and harvest paper pumpkin kit and you can sign up for that um, right now until um, September 10th so let me see what it says it says experience everything the autumn season has to offer with this month's paper pumpkin kit whether you're thinking about crisp red apples or you're ready to carve some spooky jack-o-lanterns or both the haunts and harvest paper pumpkin kit is hands-on crafting experience for all autumn lovers and about this kit, it contains enough supplies to create 12 treat boxes. Comes with an exclusive stamp set and a classic stampin' spot. Offers a versatile autumnal experience with a selection of treat box styles. Take your pick of apple, pumpkin, or jack-o'-lantern treat boxes. The paper pumpkin box is designed to easily transform into a vintage wheelbarrow to display your harvest. Ah, oh, we found about the box. That's interesting. It features a vivid fall palette with these coordinating colors, which are basic black, pale papaya, poppy parade, pumpkin pie, and soft succulent. So if you have any questions on that, you can email me or instant message me, whichever you prefer. And you can, if you want to sign up, you can go to my um, paper pumpkin sign up, which is www dot paperpumpkin dot com forward slash en dash us forward slash sign dash up forward slash question mark demo id equals two two zero eight zero nine three um the kits each month are twenty two dollars so um it's something different every month so it's really fun to see what what they are when they come. I haven't received my August one yet. It should be on the way. Okay, and Celebration is running a promotion right now. Um, if you sign up for the kit, demonstrator kit, it the cost of it is $99 to join. And you can look it in the back of your Celebration catalog on page 19. Um, well, 18 and 19, and it talks about um, signing up for it. Uh, your starter kit is $99 and you can pick out $125 worth of merchandise that you would like to be in your kit. Plus, they're also adding a little extra um, on page... Let me get my little notes out of here so you don't see my sticky notes. On page 19 it tells you that on top of that $125 of products you'll also receive a free bundle of your choice out of these 12 that are here. And they can vary anywhere from, oh gosh, what's the cheapest one here? Uh, looks like 
uh, from $31.50, $31.50, all the way up to $60.25. So um, with all that included, you can um, get like $207 worth of merchandise for only $99. And plus on top of that also, they will be, set, will be giving you a free paper pumpkin along with that too. So that's another $22. So that's like $230 worth, well, $229 worth. So that's really a value. Um, you don't have to do what I do. You can just um, join to get all your products for $99, all those. And then you'll get a discount on future Stampin' Up! supplies that you wanna order. So that's a little added benefit you might wanna think about. So if you have any questions, be sure that you get with me and I can be glad to help you with that. So I think that's all the housekeeping news I have. So let's go ahead and get started with our projects. Um, first off, we're gonna start out, this is our first card and it's showcasing um, one of those free papers that are in the celebration. Let me bring my book back out here where did I put it? And hmm, it's going to be on page seven. Yes, here it is. It's on page seven. This is a free paper that you can receive with fifty dollar, with a fifty dollar order. So we're going to be using that today, and um, another stamp set to go along with it. But we're going to showcase mostly the paper. So they're very pretty. Um, let me bring some out here and show you what they look like. I think there's three or four different designs. We've got this one. I'm making sure it's on the camera here. And they're double-sided, so there's the back side, which is what we're using. And you'll get uh, is it four sheets of each design, or three sheets? It looks like it's three sheets of each design. And the next one is this black and white stripe. And it has the flowers on the back side. We're going to be cutting, fussy cutting these flowers out to use on our card. You could also color these with your blends, um, pencils, whatever you wanted to. I'm going to leave it just black and white. And here's the next one. And there's the back side of that. My iPad is really delayed. It's still on the last paper that I showed. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all. I think it's one. I think it's three designs. And it's like three sheets of each design. And there is a total of 12. So that's a pretty good um, to get free. We always use our de designer series paper. Okay, so here's the card and there's the inside of my card. Don't look at my smudges. I had some ink on my fingers, I guess, when I was working on this. So, uh, but ours is going to be cleaner than that one, <laughs> hopefully. So I'm going to get everything out here and I'll get started. cheat notes here. All right, so we're going to start out with our heavy basic white cardstock. And that measures five and a half inches by eight and a half inches. And then it's scored at four and a fourth inches. So we're just going to burnish the edge of that really good. Try not to make too much noise here because the camera seems to pick up every little bit of noise. All right, and then we've got our designer series paper, and then we've got a black, basic black cardstock. And the black measures four inches by five and a fourth inches, and the designer series paper is three, three and three fourths inches by five inches. And this is the back side of it. We're using the dots. And then we've got another strip of the striped designer series paper, and that measures. Oh, I didn't put the measurement down here. Let me get my little ruler out here and I'll tell you what that is. That's one inch by 
three and three fourths inches. I slept off on my notes here. <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and put this little strip of paper down. The designer series paper. Uh, well, as you all probably have heard, um, well, if you're local anyway, on Facebook, um, my husband's had some health issues going on. Uh, we had planned on going on vacation next week, um, going up north, but we decided to uh, cancel those for now. Um, I was supposed to go on to my 50th class reunion, so a uh, uh, little bit disappointed, but it's okay. Um, okay, so we got... This is our um, black organza ribbon, and that is on page, it's in our regular catalog. Okay, ribbon and trim. Let me find where it is. Okay, it is on page 139. It's our black glittered organdy ribbon. I was really saying the wrong kind. This one right here. Um, it was in our um, last holiday catalog last year underneath the Halloween things and they've carried it over to our annual catalog which I'm glad because it's pretty. And I'm going to bring in my scotch tape that I put out of reach here. I had to stretch. <laughs> And we're just going to tape that on the back side. And I'm going to turn this over to make sure it's where I want it to be. And it could have been down just a little bit lower, but we're going to go with it. It'll be okay. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get that out of my way. All right. And we're going to tie a little bow on there too, but we're going to set that aside and we're going to work on our labels. This is from the Ornate Frames dies. And I think that was in the um, following uh, section of last year too. So they carried that one over too, which I, I'm glad they did because I love the frames on here. And so I cut out this one. Let me get the dies out so you can see them. Okay, I used this one's for this one. And then I used this little one for this with the white. So we'll cut this out with the black and this one's the white. And I need to move them over out of my way. Alright. So we're just going to stamp our sentiments on there using a hand pinned sentiment, which says, Feel Better, Friend. And then the inside, we're going to be using the. Where did it go? Yeah, may your comeback be stronger than your setback, which is kind of unique. And that's out of the Through It Together stamp set. So we've got the hand pen petals, and then we've got the Through It Together stamp sets that we're using. And uh, we have those right here. We're using the Black Memento ink. And let me turn my light on here. Um, There we go. That might give me a little more lighting. It looks kind of shadowy on my camera. And hi, Marlene. Glad you're on. Hope you can stay. Okay, so we're going to use the sentiment Feel Better Friend. Let me see if I can get black ink all over me again. For some reason, I don't know what's on the outside of my ink pad that I'm getting it from or what. 
but it likes to make a mess. And I'm going to use my cushion, my um, piercing mat, because we're using the photopolymer stamps. So it gives it a little extra cushion. And I'm going to turn this horizontally. Is that vertical? I think that might be vertical. I've got to mix it. Up. And there we go with that. And as long as we're at it, we might as well stamp the inside of our card too. Um, got the ink out here. And I like this. Um, may your comeback be stronger than your setback. That's uh, really unique. I hadn't seen that any stamps before, so I like that. We're just going to stamp that in the middle of our card, the inside. Okay, so we're done with the ink. Let me make sure I don't have any black on my fingers, and of course I've got a spot there we needed to get wiped off before we spread it around. Okay. So now we can start assembling. We can uh, glue this down to our black mat. onto our frame. And then we'll put it up on dimensionals. And I'm going to get my black dimensionals here. You can get dimensionals in either the white or the black. And the black is kind of good if you're using um, black cardstock. It doesn't show a lot. It kind of blends in with it. And then you might take your pick tool to pop those backings off. Well, trying to. There we go. And we're going to set it off to the side. The left side. And I only put dimensionals on the top and the bottom because of the ribbon. I want it to kind of straddle that. And then we've got another piece of that organdy ribbon, and we're going to tie a faux bow, which is just, um, you tie it. <laughs> you don't worry about making a bow. And I'm going to kind of turn my rib in. And we're going to get our scissors and trim that down a little bit. And I think I want to, I think I want to go this way. I like to cut them at an angle instead of straight up and down. All right, and then uh, I've already fussy cut the flowers out already, so you won't have to sit there and watch me cut flowers, fussy cutting. So we're going to put those up on dimensionals also, and I think I'll go ahead and use the black on that one too. And then I think we'll put three on there, it should support it okay. Have y'all been able to make any cards this week or scrapbooking or anything? Um, Sharon, I hope that when you're not able to do anything, you've got your supplies there so you can at least play. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we're going to glue that to our card base. Let's turn this around here and center that onto our 
card base. And with a liquid glue, it gives you time to move it around if you need to readjust it. So that's why I like the liquid glue. And, and it's very economical. It's only $4 for a tube of this, and it lasts a long time. So it won't break the bank, so to speak. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to use the black mat black or matte black dots. That's a tongue twister. And we're going to put those onto our card front. I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And I'm going to use the putty end. And I'm going to take, and I'm going to use three. I always do in odd numbers, and it's usually always in threes, it seems like. So, um, no, I don't like that one there. It's kind of covering, let me put it right there. And then I'm going to put one in the center of the flower, this flower right here. I still have my dimensional stuck to the my take your pick tool. Okay, so I think we've got that taken care of. Yeah, we're done with that card. That went fast. So here we have it. Feel better, friend. May your sit. May your comeback be stronger than your setback. And you can decorate the envelope too um, with the paper, but I, I didn't cut any for that today. So, uh, or stamp some flowers on it or something would be appropriate. Okay, so we're going to bring out our next card. which is using the penguin place and that also has a punch that will coordinate with it you can get it as a bundle and that's on page um, well I didn't put the page number oh yeah I did yeah it's in the holiday catalog the mini catalog on page 33 Let me just bring it aside here. We've got time to show you where everything is, I think. On page 33. Oh, I'm just looking at my butter fingers here. It wasn't turning. And here it is. And it's really not a bad deal because you can get the bundle for $31.50 where you get the stamp set and the punch and in our um, celebration we're going to be using the uh, designer series paper um, I, can't read it. I thought I wrote it down yeah it's on page 4 of our celebration yeah right here you can get that like a $50 order free. Um, so it's 12 sheets double sided. Okay. So we're going to be using that today too. Um, we're going to be doing some fussy cutting. But we're not using the punch today. We're just going to use the stamp set. So let me show you the card that we're going to be doing. Oh, here it is. It says to the coolest friend ever and on the inside it says happy birthday so let's go ahead and get started with that uh, get my instructions out here everything I've done a lot of the prep work ahead of time so you wouldn't have to watch me doing that to kind of save some time today but we're going to start out with our card base, which is the heavy cards, heavy basic white card stock, which is uh, four and a fourth inches by eleven inches, and then it's scored in the middle at five and a half inches. So we're going to take our bone fold and we're going to give that a good edge on it. And then we've got the designer series paper, uh, which, which comes from that paper. Um, it's got the snowflakes and then it's got the all the critters on the other side. Okay, I hated to 
use those and that I wanted to use them. I have a piece of hair in my mouth. <laughs> <in here. laughs> Sorry about that. Um, okay, let's get back to our project here. It's um, designer series paper. The snowflakes measures four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. And we're going to be working on that. We're going to set our card base aside for a while. And then we've got um, a little frame that we've cut out of um, the scalloped contour dies. And that's in the regular annual catalog. And we're using um, two of those. We're using um, do this one and this one to cut this out. And I'm just going to place that in the center of the designer series paper and we're just going to glue that down. And I've got a cookie hair there. Gonna place that centered. All right, and then I've die cut some snow banks. Uh, I used the basic borders dies, and I just used. This one. And, and I just kind of alternated different directions for it. Make it look like snow banks. So we're going to um, start out with a larger one. We've got three different ones here. So they're different depths. Mm -hmm. So we're going to start out with a larger one and we're going to place that where we might want it. Um, I think, well, I just want to make sure that I don't have an empty gap at the bottom. All right, so that will work right there. We're going to place that one there with some glue. And hopefully I get it in the same spot that I was looking at. We're going to bring that down a little bit. You want to butt up the edges on each side. Yeah, I think that could have came down farther. Oops, and then glue all over. Because we're going to have our fox at the top here. So I don't want to get him out of the frame at all. And then we'll do the next larger one. And I just cut this, I cut these out of um, um, basic white cardstock and it measured um, three and three fourths inches wide. That's what the, well, it's kind of an odd shape. It's four and an eighth inches. I was thinking it was three and three fourths, but it's four and an eighth. And then whatever length you need to get all three snow banks cut out. So I just used the scraps that I had. And then we're going to place the third bank uh, down at the bottom section. Okay, just like this. Hi, Jackie. Glad you could join. Okay. Okay, and now we're just going to go ahead and glue that. Well, let's go ahead and stamp our sentiment on there first. And I need to switch out these here. Uh, for this one, we're going to be using the Fresh Freesia, the Calypso Coral, and... Um, well, I just did that one in black, so we're going to use the Memento Black to stamp the sentiment with. And that is 
to the coolest friend ever. And we need to bring our piercing mat over here to do that too. We're using the photopolymer stamps. Which we need a little cushion underneath for those. And we're just going to ink that up with our black and we're going to stamp it at the bottom lower right hand corner. And I hope I didn't smear that. Oh, it looks good. I lucked out. First I thought I moved the stamp. And uh, we're just going to do the front before we get into the inside. So we'll come back to that black ink again later. And I'm making sure I don't have any of my fingers. Okay, so now we can glue that to our card base. And when you do this, you got time to go back in there and trim off the edges that you might have been hanging over just a little bit. Uh, mine looks pretty good today. And we're just going to center that on the front of our card. And press it all down. And then we're going to assemble our critters. Oh, I think I had another snow bank there. Oh well. It's too late now. No, we forget that one. We're fine. <laughs> so I've got one that I didn't fussy cut out. So we've got the snowman. And we've got the fox. And and our little penguin's going to go down here, but we're going to fussy cut him, and it won't take very long. Um, these don't come with the dies at all, but they're not that hard to fussy cut, so we'll go ahead and do that. Let you watch me cut paper. <laughs> uh, we've had quite a spill of hot weather the last few days. Uh, And now they're talking to be chances of rain, I think, Friday, I see. And through the weekend, maybe. Which we really needed, I guess. Um, I'm just going to cut that off and get it out of the way. When I'm cutting around the um, penguin, I'm leaving like a little edge going around him. Of, uh, I guess it's kind of the lighter color paper, which is the background. Yeah. So you don't have to cut right on the lines. Um, I just kind of go around it. Probably not explaining that very well. Yeah, same, Jackie. You said that you're going to have a late lunch today. You have your stomach growling. But then mine was growling when I got up this morning, so I don't know what that was about. Okay, so we're going to place our penguin there. Our fox up here. And our snowman right there. And I'm not... I'm not going to put these up on dimensionals. I'm going to glue them directly down to our card. So we'll put a little glue on our snowman, and that was a lot. Let me spread that out a little bit. Came out faster than I expected. And we're going to place our snowman there. And I think I'll bring him up just a tiny bit. And then our penguin's going to go just above our sentiment. He looks like a really happy boy, <laughs> just the look on his face. And then our fox is going to be sliding down the snowbank. And I've also cut out a little bitty bird out of that same paper. And we're going to place her up on the corner, but we're going to put her up on a dimensional. I'm going to use the mini dimensionals. 
Uh, let me get one of those and put on the back of her. the point of my take your pick tool and pick her up and I'm going to place her up on the corner of that framework I guess that's glue on me and then we're going to put some rhinestones on them in front of the cards let me get my box out here there we go Like I always do, I'm going to do threes. I always like to keep it odd, numbers. And we'll put one there. We'll put a couple up there in the corner. And the other one we'll put... Um, hmm, don't want it in there, don't want it in the frame. I think I'm going to put it right there. Whoops. Well, he got an extra one on his tail. I don't know where that came from. He's trying to have a shiny tail. <laughs> he snitched it. And where he got it from. Okay, so there's the front of our card. Very cute. And I didn't put no ribbon on it because I thought it had enough on there. I didn't want it to be too busy. I just went with the rhinestones. Alright, so let's work on the inside. And I'm going to have to bring my mat over here. I'm going to uh, decorate the inside a little bit. Um, we're going to start out with our black memento ink. And I'm going to take the happy birthday sentiment. I'm going to stamp that in the upper center of our card. And then we're going to do a snow bank. Uh, this is the curved one that came out of the stamp set, which is uh, this one right here. You can use the snow. So we're going to do that on the inside. Let me see if I get this inked up right. And looks good to me. And then we're going to stamp our little penguin with the memento black. And we're just going to stamp him on top of the snow bank. And then we get to put his feet on him and his nose, his beak. I guess we call it a beak, not a nose. Keep thinking I have black ink on me. So we're going to start out using the Calypso Coral to do his feet. And they're really cute. There's two of them. They're attached together. Yeah, I love this stamp set. It's so cute kind of makes you smile. Hmm. All right, I'm just going to stamp his feet on there. I'll be careful because I got ink on my block there. I guess I pushed down too hard. Oops, we're not done yet. We're going to do his beak. So here's a little beak. I don't know if you can see it. And I'm going to use the Calypso Coral for that too. And when you put his beak on, I was doing it wrong. I had it down a ways, but you want to line it up to the this black that comes down the middle of his face right here. All right, and then we've got to go with our fresh freesia, and we're going to um, stamp a birthday balloon. And the balloon punch that we had previously, we'll punch these out just fine. So if you have that from before, um, be sure to pull it out and you want to make balloons, punch out balloons. 
stamp them and then punch them out. Okay. Dang. Oops. Stick the fingers in it. Okay. Wipe that off. I've got a wet rag here just in case. Which is good. Alright. And then for the string for the balloon, I'm just going to use a regular black gel pen. And we're just going to run the string to his hand there. That wasn't very neat, but you get the idea. Uh, did I forget anything on him? No, that's everything. So there we have our penguin. To the coolest friend ever, happy birthday. And you could put some Rink of Stella on to the balloon if you wanted to make it a little bit britzy. Okay. All right, so let's go on to our next one. Which we are using um, the counting sheep stamp set and the sheep dies. And those are both in the celebration. It's on page, I think it's page 11. Yeah. Okay, so you can get the stamp set free with the $50 order. And then you can also get the dies for an additional $50 order. So with a $100 order, you can get both of those free. So, but they are cute. Okay. All right, we're going to be using that. Let me... And the paper that we're going to be using, I didn't even show you the card yet. I got to show you the card. Got ahead of myself. Here's the card. And it says, so glad it's your birthday. And they're just having a good time dancing, jumping over the fence. And then here's the inside. You're amazing. And she's got such a sweet face. Oh, and I just love her face. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get started with that. And we're starting out with our... Um, let me get this out of the way here. Rearrange my things here. Make some room. Okay. Counting sheep. And bits and pieces. Okay. We're going to be using the Bermuda Bay cardstock. And this measures four and a fourth inches by eleven inches, and then it's scored in the middle at five and a half inches. And we're we're going to burnish the edge of that. And the inside is just a basic white, which measures um, four and a fourth inch, no, four inches by five and a fourth inches. So we're just going to set that in there for now, so we don't lose it. And then the outside is basic white, and that measures four and an eighth inches by five and three eighths inches. So we're going to go ahead and start attaching all that. Let me put this over aside here. That's our inside. We'll do that later. So let's go ahead and attach our basic white to our card front. And just center that on the front of our card base. And we'll scooch it just a little bit right there. And I think that's, you know, it's not really straight. But it may have to stay right there. We're going to let it be right there. We wanted to move it up a little bit, but it didn't want to move. And I've got a sticky glue here, so we're going to use our glue eraser to get rid of that. Uh, Stampin' Up! used to sell these, but they don't anymore, but you can probably get them in any office supply store or Amazon or wherever you might shop at. Uh, they work really good if you got uh, glue smudges. You can get them, erase them, they come right off. Alright, so we're going to take our designer series paper, the Brights, 
the 6x6 six six designer series paper. And this is the Bermuda Bay color. We're going to use that. We die cut that using our Stitch So Sweetly dies. And I used this guy right here. So I've already die cut that out ahead of time too. So let's go ahead and glue that down to our card. Mm -hmm. Alright, and we'll center that and kind of more up towards the top. We want to leave a, uh, more of a, a bigger space at the bottom, just like this. And um, I was thinking, do I want to stamp first or do I want to start assembling? I think I'll just go ahead and assemble everything. Um, I've die cut everything out. We've got a fence that we die cut using our sheep dies. I'll get the dies out and show you which ones I used. Okay, we've got the sheep or the fence. There's the fence. And then we die cut. Um, a couple sheep out, which we're going to be doing today because I didn't do that ahead of time. But I did stamp or I cut out the sun and the balloon. And we're going to go ahead and stamp our sheep. So I've got them out already. Let me switch over here. I've got to rearrange a little bit. There we go. So we've got to use this one, we're going to use this one. Alright, we're going to, these are the two sheep that we're using. And I don't need the pad there. And I'm going to use um, just a black memento. Let me put my dies away so I don't lose them. And on our little scrap of white here, basic white cardstock, we're going to stamp those. Okay, I might go over a little bit today, so I hope nobody's in a hurry. Okay. this up a moment and we'll do some coloring with our blends. Um, we're going to be using the uh, gray granite, the dark and the light. So we're going to start out with the dark and we're just going to outline our sheep right there. And I'm going to do the hoofs. I'm not going to color all of them, I'm just going to do um, the highlighted areas. Okay, same with the other one. I think that cookie's thirsty in there, she's getting a drink of water. Okay, like that. And then we're going to come back in with our light gray granite. And we're going to um, color his ears, his face, and his legs. This little guy, we're going to color his ears. I'm not sure if it's a guy or a girl. <laughs> but she's having a good time. She looks like a happy sheep. And her face. And 
right? And then we're going to come in with our color lifters and we're just going to kind of blend those edges a little bit. I hope I'm on camera here yet. Okay, it just kind of blends it a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see it on camera that well, but it kind of softens it so it's not so harsh. Okay, that's good. And we'll set those aside. And now we're going to do some die cutting, so we need to bring over our uh, baby boss. Let me set these aside. I don't use them. And my plates. We've got the number one and then um, the number twos for the cutting plates. Let's put this down. And where did I put my dies? I have misplaced them. Where did I put them? Oh goodness me. Does anybody see my dies? My sheep dies? There they are. I put them out of arm's reach here and I couldn't see them. Okay, so we're going to use these two dies to cut out those sheep. And I should be able to cut both of them, so let me take this one plate off and leave that one in the bottom. And I'll arrange this. Yeah. I'm trying to be on the wrong one. I wonder it wasn't going right. There we go with this one. And I'm going to get me um, a handy washer tape over here. Uh, this could be dangerous. I don't want it moving. I need to get up and get my washi tape. <laughs> and on the side of my desk, and my uh, big boss is holding it. Uh, all right. So with your washi tape, you want to kind of put it on your shirt to get rid of some of the tackiness. Or on your skin, it would work too. It picks up the oils off of your skin. And I'm just going to get a couple of those and stick them to my shirt a couple times so it's not so tacky. I don't want it ripping my paper when I take it off. Alright, so here's one. Uh, I hope my head isn't in the camera. See all my gray hair. <laughs> all right, there's one. And I got that wrong. I had them upside down. And about so, I think. Be good. I'll run that through. All right. And that's the baby boss over there out of my way. And the plates. Not good. I'll put my dies away so I don't lose them. Alright, so now we're going to finish assembling our card. Uh, we've got the fence. We're going to place that down. And we're just gluing these all directly down. The sheep will be popped up and the balloon will be popped up. But everything else is just glued directly down to the card. 
Get our dimensionals over here and start popping this in. And I'm on the last part of my dimensionals. I'm using the edges, which work very good. Don't throw them away. Just um, I just snip them up a little bit. They work just as good as the original. center to help support it and we're going to start with um, this little guy over here first I've had a lot of fun playing with the sheep stamp set and dies um, I did a class on our retreat using them everybody enjoyed it and if you're wanting to order um, it's while supplies last um, so I'd advise to get the dies first um, because those are probably the ones that are going to go on back order to start with or they'll just run out they won't replace them um, so I'd get the dies first and then um, maybe the next time get the stamp set they're less likely to run out of those but the dies are kind of iffy so I just the want to let you know that so um, with the shipping everything everything's been so messed up with the COVID that oh, I thought I cut two clouds I guess I only cut one on this one um, so we're going to glue our cloud down I'm just going to put it in the center and then our sun we're going to glue that down On my dimensional. Just one in the back and pop that off with my take your pick tool. And she's going to be holding that. Alright, I got everything positioned. Now we're going to do our greeting, which is this one here we're using the so glad it's your birthday now remember to like and share the video for me so and if you're watching this later on YouTube um, also um, share it on there I'd appreciate it so glad it's your birthday Go ahead and do our inside while we're at it. We got the four by five and a fourth inch basic white. And we're going to stamp the sentiment which says you're amazing. And that's going to be using the black memento ink also. And we're going to stamp that kind of off to the right side centered. And the sweet little sheep that I think has got the cutest face on her. And we're going to stamp her down at the bottom left hand corner. There. And then we're going to come back in with those blends again. We're going to doll her up a little bit. Let me cover this. And we're going to start again with a dark gray granite. And we're just going to outline her and then color her face and such like we did the other ones. And a little bit up here on her head. And her 
of this. Okay. And we'll come back in with the light gray granite. And we're going to color her face and her ears and her legs with the light gray granite lens. And we turn her sideways a little bit so I can get a different angle. I'm also going to take the brush end and I'm going to make some uh, ground that she's standing on. She can't be standing in midair here. Okay. That's good. And then we're going to come back in with our color lifter and we're going to do the same like we did the other ones on the front. We're going to kind of blend in this this darkness of the dark gray, dark gray granite. And that just softens it a little bit. It doesn't take it completely away, but it softens the color a little. Okay. And we'll glue her, glue this to the inside of our card. Didn't want to put her upside down. Um, all right, let me press that down to get it to seal. Okay, so let's add some bling to the outside of this. We're going to be using the Genial Gems. And take the pick tool with the putty end, and we're going to pick up some. Uh, we're going to go with the green ones. Um, I'm going to use the larger ones. And we're going to put three on there. We're going to do two in that row. And then we're going to do another one at the bottom corner. And I need to move that over just a tiny bit. There we go. Alright, I think we've got everything on there. Um, let me put my cap on my glue here. So I'll get it stuck to everything. Alright, I think we're finished today. This is our card. Um, so glad it's your birthday with our sheet. And you're amazing. So, we're going to go ahead and show our cards. Here's our last one. Um, here's our second, and here's the first. I just want to make sure that they get in camera view. Mm. Let me just scoop them up a tiny bit. I had a good old delay on my iPad. Give me just a moment to see if it's looking good. Well, thank you, Sharon. Yeah, I thought they were kind of fun. Um, which one's your favorite? I think my favorite is probably, oh gosh, it's hard to decide. I like all of them. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. All three are my favorite. <laughs> are the black and white? Yeah. We don't use very much black and white, so it's kind of a elegant look, I think. And this could also be made into, well, I don't know, sympathy card, um, uh, get well, thinking of you, anything. It's real versatile. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to close today with what we have here. And I'll be back, um, God willing, on Monday.
which would be, um, yeah, um, August 16th. I'm thinking my husband has an appointment that day, but I think it's in the afternoon, so sh we should be okay to do it Monday. Um, if y'all wouldn't mind, um, would it be all right if I started at 10.30 instead of 11, maybe? Um, let me know what you think. Uh, but otherwise, I'll be back next Monday, the 16th of August. And I'll probably be doing um, some new products, more new products that are in the catalogs. In the mini catalog and the uh, big one. So, the annual catalog and celebration. So I'm going to let y'all go and y'all have a good day, good rest of the week. Stay healthy. Um, so, goodbye.